Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And welcome. We've been talking about the advice, the lessons, the teachings that we've received from our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And what is the importance of how you answer a question? Somebody comes to you and asks a question, and I'm going to give a hypothetical question. They ask you, oh, you're a Muslim. Yeah. So how long have you been a terrorist? What can you say? This is a really bad question. And it's borderline stupid, right? So how did our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam respond to the same situation? I'll give you an example. They asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about the new moons, but they asked it in a way that they knew that they would play around with the meanings, or even if he answered it correctly, they could still give it different interpretations. So the, they ask him, why does it the moon go from a crescent to a full moon and then a crescent in different sizes and shapes and so on? And then Allah answers the question, and you can find this in chapter 2, Surah Baqarah, 189. Because of the superstitions that people had at that time about the moon and the sun. Many people worshipped the moon. Many people worshipped the sun. But, of course, that is not permissible at all in Islam. In another ayah, Allah talks about don't worship the sun but worship the one that created it, which is Allah. So, the verse that I'm talking about, it says, the translation, say, and this is Allah telling the Prophet Sallallahu what to say to those people. These are the measurements of time for the people and for Hajj. Ah. The changing shapes of the moon are merely for people to know time, days of the week or the month. You can look at the moon and, be, and establish what, what's going on. And it's also for the people for Hajj. So you can keep up with this. And how many times did the moon go dark? Twelve times, that means you're right back where you started because that would mean 12 months. The Muslims used the moon calendar, the lunar calendar, the same calendar that Jesus used, Moses used, Abraham used. Adam used the same kind of reckoning. For the time of passage, for the day of the week, they didn't use the sun. That was the sun worshippers who did that 300 years after the death of our prophet. Uh, actually, he didn't die. Uh, prophet Isa, alayhi salam, he will come back in the last day. But that's not the subject. What we're talking about is the way to answer a question. Because they were trying to throw a trick question out there that they could argue and discuss. But he gave the answer. This is to establish when is Hajj, when is fasting, when is the divorce period over or the death of a husband. Because in Islam, a woman cannot get married right away after she is divorced or her husband passes away. So, ah, four full moons. And it's interesting that when the first people that came from the east or came from England, they realized that there were already people here, so it was not an undiscovered place. Anyway, it was interesting that these people 
the American indigenous, we call them Indians, they had already established a calendar all throughout Americas. They had established a calendar based on the passage or time of the moon, the moon calendar. And they also had a sun calendar for other purposes. And this is very interesting. But in another program, we'll talk about that. So the idea here is even though somebody gives you a silly question, either remain silent or give them a better answer. Don't drop your intelligence down to that level. Allah grant us the ability to recognize the questions and give the better answers. Or remain silent. I mean, I mean, I mean. I mean.